this is uh, a build video of the 4xp well not really a build video but a partial build video this one is the plunger cylinder and the four barrel so this piece here this is called the transfer unit i've used a uh, sealant here you could use any sealant but in my case i just use a uh, hot melt glue the same with the four barrel so this is a 13 by 15 millimeter barrel and uh, if you notice these are all sealed with just hot glue now on the back portion here so you have uh, the the aluminum bars there's another bar on top of this okay and this is serves as a slide or a, a guide rail for the pusher this slot is supposed to be it's supposed to where the aluminum should go but i made a mistake now i had to manually transfer the aluminum here on the upper portion and that uh, compromised the seal because of the passage inside here so i had to seal but in the updated version of the stl files all of those things are already fixed so you don't need to do any adjustment anymore your typical plunger i already attached a spring there so you just insert it there so you have four of that just like that and that. so after that we could now attach the they call it a stopper because it basically stops the spring you just have to insert it like this and you just screw there should be a screw hole here one two three and four so i'll go ahead and screw that in put this on the side first let's talk about the the trigger this is a uh, so this is your trigger so it has a selector here so that's for the shotgun mode and this is for the semi-automatic mode now you notice there's a screw here at the back so this is just there to guide the spring but in the updated STL files already included a guide so that the spring won't uh, come off so the spring just goes like this attached to the trigger is the trigger rod just like this one so this is made from 1.5 millimeter uh, stainless rod and you have to bend it in this way and also at the other end you have to bend it in that way and then this one goes like that and then you simply attach the the or clamp it with the what well, I call it a trigger clamp and then you simply attach it insert it right here at the back there's like a big hole at the center just insert it there and just slide it like so just like that and then just insert the screw here to hold uh, the trigger in place and then it goes to the blaster just like this there then you simply need to attach two screws here that's on two sides another two here and this one a screw in a nut and then uh, you can install the spring it just goes right here and like that there now there's a stopper here so that when you pull it it will not get removed you just attach that screw right there now in the latest stl files uh, i've transferred the stopper at the back portion and this one it is all changed to a plastic version that is integrated in the grip mount so you really don't need to make a foam like this anymore we can already attach the shotgun rod so this one goes right here goes all through out the blaster it will come out right here in the 
where the trigger is. It's, it's just a regular nut, but it has this uh, plastic thing inside it so that it will not get removed, you know, by vibration. What I do is I simply use uh, some kind of a pliers over the nut. I place it like this and try to thread that to the nut. So this is the, uh, I called it the catch unit, and you have four catch. So this is the catch you use for the top portion, okay. And then these two are for the bottom portion. And I have one here, this is not a catch, but this is what I call the shotgun lever. So it's just a... Uh, a 3d printed part with a stud bolt four millimeter stud bolt uh, force threaded into it i'm just gonna put a bit of lubrication there okay just like that and this goes right here okay so this pin is just a three millimeter uh screw i cut off the head and I made a slot at one end so it goes through one of these holes here the bigger hole it goes through there so it goes through here and there and then from that point you could now simply screw it in with a small flat screwdriver so this is the rotor okay so I have numbers there that indicates which uh, which barrel would be would uh, would fire but uh, in the updated stl the numbers are already included in the 3d files this one i simply use a marker so this one goes right like like that goes like that and then i simply screw that in right here okay so now let's install all the catch so I start with the top catch so again you have to put lubrication to make sure it functions well okay that's enough and then so you have to put this the catch spring it goes like this okay it goes inside so the best way for for you to really install it is put the catch spring first inside there just like that and simply place this down pushing the spring until the hole here is uh, perfectly in place and simply attach or insert your screw right so you just have to do that on the other side okay so now this is the best time to show you how how the what do you call this the shotgun trigger works so that's how the 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 semi-automatic catch work and for the shotgun mode if you push this or pull this lever it will also activate or release the catch so how does it do that at the uh, center portion so if you remember the four millimeter screw attached to the orange uh, shotgun lever so whenever you pull that that screw uh, somehow pushes a lever also attached to the catch just like that so let's try to attach this this is for the bottom portion catch again I'm gonna put some lubrication there and then <coughs> this one is installed right here those cam is in a certain shape that you could not really reverse the rotor so it's like uh, the rotor will only have one rotation see so that cannot go back and then this one goes like that and then cannot go back attach the <coughs> side rails let's do that now so Alright, so I've already attached the side rail. 
So these are the the priming device. So you just insert that just like that. Like that. Screw it a little. I take my uh, wrench or a pliers and I simply partially pull it out and I could uh, basically clamp it down with my pliers and you could go ahead and tighten your nut right here so again this is a lock nut so once that's in it should never come out yeah okay so that's one you have to do it in all of those four plungers plunger rods so now you could attach the uh, catch unit so basically it just goes like this it has to go over the uh, semi-automatic this goes here and the shotgun goes there I'll just attach the barrel clamp shotgun so I'll do that now you just need the screw to attach that so the, the trigger it has a rod that goes all the way here so whenever you pull on the trigger that's what happens it rotates the rotor and thus releases the catch one by one starting with you know one four two three one so the sequence is unusual but that's how it is engage the shotgun switch like that when you pull it it actually pulls this rod with it so try to notice that see without the without the shotgun mode activated and when you push the shotgun mode it pulls the shotgun rod along with the trigger and on the other end you will see that it releases the four catch all at the same time in this particular key, uh, prototype, this is how I prime it. It has quite a difficult prime because imagine you're pulling two springs at the same time. So that's how the catch catches the the plunger rods. Right now, here I again I put a foam just to retain the priming so that it will not go back go in this position whenever. Your, whenever the rods are primed now in the updated STL files I've already included a primer retainer mechanism incorporated at the bottom cover so when you attach the bottom cover it has some sort of a plastic uh, spring here that pushes against this ever so gently so that this will not go on this position whenever your plungers are primed so so you just this one is attached here like that and that's it